Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Wow, Barry, you make painting look so fun. It is fun, Mika. Whoa, I want to try that. Hmm, not quite what I pictured in my head. That looks great, Blippi. Remember, there are no mistakes in art. It's Bowie! Oh, hey! How you doing, Blippy crew? Wow, rainbows are the coolest. <gasps> we should paint a rainbow next. Oh, what a great idea. Hey, I love this guy. Hmm, I wonder, how do you paint a rainbow when you only have red, yellow, and blue? Oh, three colors is all we need. I'll be right back. Come on, Debo! <laughs> Oh, I got to do a quick appearance in New Zealand, but I'll be back to check out your paintings. Bye-bye, Bowie. Wow. What's that? It's the Paint Mixer 5000. It's going to help us make a rainbow. Are you ready, Debo? It's mixing time. Whoopsie. Wrong button. Whoa, Debo, you're orange now. But how did red and yellow make orange? It's because red and yellow are primary colors, and blue too. When you mix two primary colors together, you make a secondary color, like green, orange, and purple. So cool. Next, let's make green. You got it, Debo. Pour in the yellow and blue. New color coming up. Here we go, here we go. Now all we need for the rainbow is my favorite color, purple. Maybe if we mix red and blue. We haven't tried that yet. Now we just need to mix these together. And shake it up. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> Yay. Let's go paint that rainbow. Why just paint a rainbow when you can experience a rainbow? Come on, let's go. Ready to experience a rainbow? Yeah. Hit it, Debo. Yeah! Surf's up! I love artistic expression! Oh, wow, we zip zoom bang! You made a full rainbow experience! I love it! I truly feel seen. <laughs> and I got the answer to my question. How do you paint a rainbow with only red, yellow, and blue? You mix them to make orange, green, and purple. Upload answer, Debo. Let's party! Yahoo! Yeah. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. You can't catch me, Mika. Oh, yeah? Look out for my ultimate cartwheel. Here I come. Whoa, whoa. Watch out. Whoa. 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 A secret clearing. You're right, Tabs and Debo. This does look like a perfect spot for a playground. Hmm. I wonder, what would it be like to build the ultimate blippy playground? Great question. Let's design it and build it. All right. First, we need a big play structure. Maybe it can look like a rocket. That's a great idea, Mika. It's gonna need lots of shade. 
looking great, Debo and Tabs. Hmm. Next, we'll need a zip line. Oh, yeah! And a musical bridge. Yeah! Oh, wow! We definitely need a slide. All right. Whoa! Whee! Yeah! Uh-oh, Blippi! Looks like a storm is brewing! Five minutes until rain! Oh no! We better hurry! How about a racetrack? Four minutes until rain! We definitely need a stage! Whoa! Whoa! Three minutes until rain! We definitely need a splash pool! Until rain! Ow! And we definitely need a, a ball pit. pit! Wow! Yikes! One minute to rain! Take cover, everyone! Whoa! We did it! <laughs> Yar! I'm Captain Blippy. Let's set sail for the open seas. Yar! Aye, aye, Captain! Whoa! Whoa! Land ho! Yeah! <laughs> hmm, something is missing. That's it! It's perfect! And I have the answer to my question. What's it like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? It's Blippi-tastic! Upload answer, Debo and Tabs. Awesome work, everyone! This calls for a celebration! Yeah! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout! I wonder what we'll learn about... Blippi! Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion! We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. Look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slim Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit or Vegetable. Tell us your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> now, Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seeds in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds, and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that, too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit or... Ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right. But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, 
A fruit! Yes, strawberry is a fruit! And you can do correct answers, which means his trophy is all yours! Wow! Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Ten rocks to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madame Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi Wonders. Sorry, Tabs. I was just making a T-Rex shadow puppet with my hand. Aw, what a tiny dinosaur. Hmm, I wonder, what was the smallest dinosaur? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go back in time and find out. Going back in time! Whoa! We traveled 125 million years into the past, Tabs. Whoa! A dinosaur! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. You wouldn't happen to be the smallest dinosaur, would you? Oh, phew! I thought you were a scary dinosaur. <laughs> I'm Seamus. This is just my head. I'm stuck again. Never fear! Mina is here! Howdy! I'm Mina the Microraptor. Why do you say we try to dig my friend Seamus out? I might be only one foot tall, but I'm pretty strong. I've got an idea. Be back in a jiffy! Coconut shovels? What a great idea! Lucky for us, my four wings helped me fly up there extra fast. Oh no! My coconut shovel broke! Mine too! Are you able to move, Seamus? <laughs> well, you did your best, but I guess I live here now. Maybe if we had something slippery, we could pull you out. Hey! I know a cave filled with super slippery slime! This way! Whoa! This hole is super tiny! Are you sure you can fit? Never fear! Mina is here! Be right back! Uh-oh. Ah! Whoa! Are you okay? I got the slime! Yeah! <laughs> oh! I can't believe it! <laughs> I'm free! We did it! Roar! <laughs> I might be the smallest dinosaur, but even I can do better than that! Wait, Microraptors are the smallest dinosaurs? We sure are! And we roar like this! Roar! Ah, scary dinosaurs! Run for your life! <laughs> Ferocious friends sure are fun! And I got the answer to my question. What was the smallest dinosaur? The smallest dinosaur was the Microraptor. Microraptors are only one foot tall, have four wings, and lived 125 million years ago. Upload answer tabs. See you later, Blippi! Buh bye Mina! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Phew, it's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The 
Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking Whoa. down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkely. Sherry. Are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right, which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. It's so hot. I wish we had a cool treat to cool down. <laughs> That's a great idea, Debo. We'll get popsicles to beat the heat. <laughs> oh, oh. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no! I wonder, what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? It's hard to see what's wrong. We'll need to shrink down to get a better look. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is not ready for adventure, but we are. Wow, the inside of the Blippi Mobile looks so cool! But how will we ever figure out how to fix it? Do I hear someone in need of help fixing something? Hi, I'm Wonky the Rich, at your service for any and all repairs. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Mika and Debo. Wonky, will you help us figure out what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? Hey, you bet. Here are some things we should check. First up, make sure the bolts are tight. There are a lot of bolts down here. I know just the wrench to tighten them. <laughs> Those are some sweet moves, Wonky. Ooh. I tell you what, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Ten out of ten. That one's tightened. <laughs> hey, Debo, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yeah. Next up. Let's make sure all the switches are on. This way. Oh no! Whoopsie! Ooh. Now let's check out the gears. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> hmm, I think the gears are supposed to move. Hey, there's a toy in the gear. Is that your toy, Debo? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm on it. <sighs> Dead gummit, it's not working. We can help. Uh, <laughs> 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 it worked! Yeah! Oh, now this is. 
is the best part of fixing things when it's all fixed. And I got the answer to my question. The Blippi Mobile wasn't working because there was a toy stuck in the gears. But now, the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Upload answer, Debo. I'm here anytime you need a helping wrench. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye bye Growing up! <laughs> now who's ready for a popsicle? Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's go. Do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. 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 Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! Ah. It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! This is awesome! Ooh. How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Ah. Ah. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed. I nailed that! Megan, that was and I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Debate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! Woohoo! I'm in the lead. Ah, baby chick straight ahead! Change course! Silly somersault! Hey, it's me, Flippy. And this is Mika and Tabs. I'm Penelope. Can you help me? I think I'm lost. Good question, Tabs. I wonder, how can we help Penelope find her way home? What's the last thing you remember, Penelope? 
all I remember is following a rainbow leaf. And now I'm here. Great thinking, Tabs. We should shrink down to Penelope's size so we can see things like she does. Shrinking down! Look! Penelope's footprints! Let's retrace her steps. <laughs> I found you, Rainbow Leaf! Hey, Penelope! Wait for us! <laughs> it's so squishy! <laughs> Penelope, that's a butterfly. <laughs> a butterfly? Oh. Penelope, does any of this look familiar to you? Um, no. But I do remember a forest of yellow suns. Blippi, look! That's it! Oh, you mean yellow sunflowers, Penelope. Penelope? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> We made it! Mini celebration dance! Can you see your house from here, Penelope? No, but I remember something. A field of black and white clouds. I hear cows mooing over there. Oh, Penelope, those aren't black and white clouds. They're cows. Mm. <laughs> oh! That looks like fun! Yahoo! <laughs> Come on! The cows are this way. That was fun! Hey, Tabs! Tag! You're it! Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> oh, whoa! Woohoo! I got the answer to my question. How can we help Penelope find her way home? We helped Penelope find her way home by using our eyes and ears to observe the environment around us. Upload answer tabs. Ooh, a fuzzy, fuzzy, wuzzy. <laughs> Bye, Penelope. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa! There's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder. What planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up. Right, Tabs, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Welcome to outer space. I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. <laughs> Whoa! That is hot! We should go! The third planet is your home, Earth! Hi, Mom! Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust! Come on! Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa! We should go! We sure are a long way from the sun now. 
Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the meteor. Did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out. Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great. We're the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. And, and we, we must, must protect it so the plants can grow. So, Blippi, what can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie. Here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, Give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have to do. And it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the Planet Earth Party. It's the Planet Earth Party. <laughs> so, Blippi, what other things can we do to protect the Earth? We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw them in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! But don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. Party. What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the planet Earth party. But it's not just our home, is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy, so all the animals can be happy and healthy, too. From the elephants on the savanna To the polar bears at the North Pole The monkeys in the jungle Yeah, we all call the Earth our home When it's the home for you and me we call home. What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the bubbles! <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make bubbles? 
<laughs> Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash. Hi. Oh, good boy. I'm Marvin, Marvin Bubbly. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh. <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you! Thank you, thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Better button turn. Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies! The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And... shoo ba -da boop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me, let's make some more bubbles! And I know just a fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water, get them sized up on the soap, make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye-bye, Marvin. Bye-bye, Blippi. Bye-bye, everyone. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Easy. Careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Ready for adventure! <laughs> You're right, Diva! It sure is hard! <laughs> Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon! That's Sergeant Scoop of the Spoon to you. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T-minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. 
Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk in command! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. Oh no! I got it! You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. Wow. Look at those birds! Oh! Wow! Look at all these animals we're finding! Maybe we'll find the king of the jungle next! Ah! <gasps> That's not the king of the jungle! King of the jungle? Wait, are, are you looking for a lion? There's not really any lions in the jungle. You gotta go to the savanna for that. Out there! Hmm, I wonder. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Whoa! <laughs> Lion! Cool! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. Hello, Blippi and Tabs. I'm Jabari, the king of the jungle. I was just sharpening my kingly skills on the lion obstacle course. The lion obstacle course? That's so cool! Would you like to train with me? If you complete the course, I'll make you honorary lions! Yeah! <laughs> Our first lesson is here, where you will learn to sneak like a lion. Sneak like a lion. Got it. Shh. Not so loud, Blippi. You will scare off the prey. The prey? The prey is the butterfly. Oh, I get it. Sneaky. Ow! <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Yeah! Let's try the next lesson. Jumping! Crouch down and feel your energy. Then, when you are ready, release the energy and jump! Are you ready, Tabs? Jump like a lion! Yes! Great job! Now there's one more lesson. Hop on my back and hang on tight! Yeah! Welcome to the Roaring Arena! To roar like a lion, follow along. First, find your power. Lift up and roar! Way to go, Blippi and Tabs! You are now honorary lions. Roar! Thanks, Jabari. We had so much fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Even though lions are called king of the jungle, they actually live on the savanna. 
Lions are sneaky hunters, big jumpers, and have really loud roars. Upload answer tabs. See you next time we're in the savannah, Jabari. Goodbye, Blippi and Tabs. Come back and roar with me anytime. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Rock and roll! That sounded great! I love it! Thank you! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm Picky! We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud. Thank you. Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. We're going up and down, too. When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates. And the sound hole there makes it super loud. Like, a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth. <laughs> Hello. Wow, that was loud. Right, practice is over. Time to jam. One, two, three, four. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye, Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! The rain will be gone soon, Tabs? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting. Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs! Exactly right! It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors! <gasps> Whoa! A rainbow! So many colors! I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. 
Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please! The Big Blue Sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer, I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Lippy. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, superfan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends, or refracts, and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. Fetch, Devo. <laughs> Whoa! I should have built a bigger moat! Huh? Sorry about your castle, Krabby. Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of sand to rebuild it. <laughs> Good question, Nebo. Hmm, I wonder, where does sand come from? To answer that, you'll have to go to the top of Mount Peaky. To the top of Mount Peaky we go. I'm gonna need wings and frog legs. Wing, frog leg, confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! <sighs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hey there, I'm Wayne the Boulder. I just woke up from the best dream. I was a grain of sand living atop a sand castle in a beach paradise. That's so cool. And I want to make my dream a reality. <laughs> Erosion is a process that usually takes millions of years. But let me break it down for you. Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> Look, I'm already smaller. Erosion usually takes so long, but I'm feeling ambitious today. Yeah, let's go. Activate propeller. Propeller confirmed. I'm having a lot of fun, Blippi. <laughs> Me too. Whirlpool. Whoa. Erosion makes me dizzy. Water slowly breaks down rocky surfaces, but this whirlpool is really speeding things up. Activate Turbo Booster. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look how small I am. Shrinking down. Wow, Wayne. You're so small, we can barely keep up. Here's the secret to keeping up. You gotta... Whoa, whoa. 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 Catch that fish! Whoa, Wayne! You're tiny! Yup! <laughs> Even fish play a part in the process of erosion. Now let's go find my dream castle! Whoa! Oh, boy! Here we go! Ah, there! My sandcastle's complete! 
Ha! I did it! My dream came true! Thanks for being a gem during my erosion! It was a blast! And I got the answer to my question. Where does sand come from? Sand comes from big boulders as they break into smaller pieces through a process called erosion, which usually takes millions of years. Upload answer, Debo. Buh bye Goodbye! See you later! Uh. Whoops! <laughs> Excuse me! That was a big burp, Flippy! Hmm, I wonder, why do people burp? Ho oh, ho! I can tell you, but it's more fun to show you! Off to the nearest mouth! All right, I'm gonna need frog legs! Frog legs confirmed. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Open wide! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> this is He's doing way too fast! Look at all the air he's swallowing! Whoa! Well, that was fun. Debo, you can open your eyes now. I think it's over. Here we go again! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna need monkey arms. Monkey arms confirmed. Whoa! 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 What's that? It's called the esophagus. We all have them. It's a long tube that connects the throat to the stomach. Woo! Esophagus! That's a fun word. E soft a gus! <coughs> Whoa! He's coughing up a storm! <laughs> oh yeah! These are ideal conditions for a big old burp! Boobs away! Oh no! Hang on to your seats, everybody! Whoa! So cool! Careful! The bubble's delicate and can explode at any moment! <laughs> yes, get it! Get it, Ball! Whee! <laughs> oh, yeah! The bubble is all the extra air that this guy swallowed! It's like a trampoline! Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Uh-oh! Too much bouncing! It's gonna blow! Whoa! The air bubble is rising up the esophagus and toward the mouth. <laughs> Whoa. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Experiment complete. <laughs> that was so fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why do people burp? People burp when they swallow too much air and it builds up inside the esophagus. The body gets rid of the air by burping. <coughs> Upload answer, Debo. I think it's time to dance. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Let's boom cha cha with boom. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! Land ho! Yeah. Hide our treasure, first mate Debo! I love playing pirates! Yar, me too! What is it, Debo? Whoa! Wow! It's a treasure map! Hmm, I wonder. How do you find buried treasure? I can help. X is where the treasure is buried. So cool! But how do we get to the X? First, we need to figure out where we are. 
Do you see anything you recognize from the map? Hey! That elephant-shaped rock looks just like the one on the map. Now you see those dashes? According to the map scale, each dash is equal to one step. Hmm, there's five dashes, so that's five steps. Right! Huh? And according to my compass watch, we need to walk five steps north, which is this way. One, two, three, four, five. The map says we need to climb up the tree. How are we going to do that? Look, a rope ladder. Nice work, first mate Debo. Treasure, here we come. Whoa, a secret door. But how do we open it? This hopscotch grid is on the map. <gasps> I've got it! Blippi, try hopping only on the blue squares. All right! We did it! Let's go! marks the spot! <laughs> Woohoo! We found the treasure! And I got the answer to my question. How do you find buried treasure? To find buried treasure, you need a map. And to follow the directions written on it to find the X. Upload answer, Debo. Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Who were they? Let's go find out! <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout! I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi Wonders! Let's see what's inside! The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure! Huh? Oh. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Mika, Debo, and Tabs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, who were they? We better go find out. Hey, Blippi, Mika, over here. Can you help us? We'd love to help. The name's Boom. We're looking for something that we need. But we can't remember what it's called. And I'm Benjamin. The thing we need is kind of shaped like this, but with a less bouncy stick. Whoa! Whoa! Booms away! Whoa! <laughs> and it's frozen, like this. I'll get you out, Debo. Looks like you gotta shake it up. Oh, yeah. Shake it up! Whoa! Purple! No. Yellow! No. Oh, hi, Blippi and Mika. I'm Barry. Can you help me find something? <laughs> sure. We would love to help. It's usually red. Red? Got it. But it can also be purple, or orange, green, or every color. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Hey! <laughs> Hello! 
I'm blue. I need the yummy for my tummy. You're looking for something that tastes good. It's a yummy and makes me feel happy inside. Oh, no. Hugs? <laughs> What's that? No, it's not that. Not that either. Was it... Boomsicle? Whoa! Oh. Oh, yay! Flippy and Mika, I'm Babble. Can you help me find this word? Let's sound it out. Something... Sickle? Tricycle? Bicycle? Whimsicle? Good idea, Tabs. Let's review our notes. It's rectangular. It has a stick. It's frozen. It could be any color. It makes you feel happy. And it sounds like something sickle. Hmm... This is tricky. Popsicles! <laughs> you were looking for popsicles. Yeah! Hey, who are you all? Boom! Benjamin, Barry, Blue, Babble. And we are the Curiosity Crew. Wow! I got the answer to my question. Who were they? They are my new friends, the Curiosity Crew. Upload answer, Debo. Oh. 